Okay, we're going to do some ID mapping out of 3D Studio Max. Now we're going to use this um, to put into Substance so that we can generate an ID map so that we can apply multi materials to one object using one UV tile. Um, there's a lot of confusion about this, um, so I'm going to go over three different ways to get these out. Um, I'm going to finish with my favorite way. Uh, first way uh, I'm going to cover is the multi sub object material. Now I'm going to assume you know what one of them are. Le there's plenty of tutorials online. Um, and that is to add a multi sub object to your object and each bit that you want different is going to be a separate uh, multi sub material. Um, and to do that we can either go into Slate Editor and create multi sub material and then add all the materials this way and load them into there. That's quite time consuming so what I'm going to do is the very very lazy way okay um, I'm going to use a copy of this block to do this so these are just copies um, I'm just going to select some um, polygons just really quickly there we go and I'm going to load my compact editor um, and I'm just going to drag the first material I find onto the selected polygon and then I'm going to go edit and select invert and drag the second one onto the others. Now I'm going to change the colour of these, one's going to be blue and then the other one is going to be um, it's going to be green Okay, so there you go I've got an object now with two um, multi subs, well one multi sub and two materials on there um, now this is where the confusion kicks in is people tend to export this model and then try and bake it from that now if I send this into substance it's going to give me a different UV shell for each material so I've got two materials and that's where the problem lies what we need to do is export this one so I'm going to grab this one out I'm just going to call it box um, and I've done a lot, I do a lot of things with boxes and then I'm going to make sure this is in the same place because if we're baking anything it has to be in the same place and I'm going to bring this one uh, out and I'm just going to call this underscore ID um, now that's for that's for later reasons um, we'll get into um, at some other point um, but we don't need it for this bit so we're going to go into substance we're going to bring in our box okay and there's our lovely box boom um, Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to base, uh, bake mesh maps, turn uh, non, and then click ID, and make sure ID is on material color. Then I'm going to go to common, and then in here I'm going to load in my ID uh, mesh. Now this is commonly used for normal, uh, normal data, so high poly sculpts from ZBrush or some from Max or whatever. But it is a common um, parameter, so we can put anything in there. And then we're just going to bake. And what you find is we've got a nice ID color map. If you don't like that, um, what we can do is go back into Max, okay, and we can pick on uh, just this one, uh, which is the multi sub, and we can do the whole thing in uh, Studio Max. So we can press zero, and we bring up the render to texture um, dialog. Now we have to have the box selected, so it comes up in there. Uh, we're just going to use default settings. We're going to make sure use existing channel is on, and I'm going to go add. Uh, we're going to add a diffuse. Okay. Um, now this is going to come out wrong. I'm going to just hit like 1024, and I'm going to render, and it's going to come out like this. Now this is because we need to just tweak our uh, materials a little bit. So we're just going to close that. I'm going to grab by two materials, and I'm going to make sure the self illumination is up to 100%. On both of them and then we can render this there we go so there's our color map and what I can do is I can just save this I'm just gonna call it that um, from before and I'm gonna bring this into substance now to bring this into substance you can bring it in any way you like um, we can go down to any uh, any channel and we can hit that and search within our shelf um, to bring that in, what we can do is go into uh, textures. I like it in the textures thing. There it is, uh, and we can just press import, 
and we can add resource and just bring it in um, and we'll just set it as a texture and we'll just have it to this current session and bring that in so we can find it there now if we can find it there we can find it here um, there we go and that is my ID map now if you don't like that way of doing it um, we can always do my favorite way um, so I'm just going to grab these two boxes just hide them bring this in the middle this is a fresh new box okay there's no uh, materials on this I'm going to make sure there's just one material on this so I'm just going to drag one material to it I'm not going to set up any IDs or anything like that uh, I'm going to do this a little bit differently I'm going to drop a uh, vertex um, paint from the modifier list and it's going to give me this lovely little paint dialog box so the first one I'm going to hit is vertex color just to show the vertex colors I'm going to go into polygon now I'm going to select green for my first color and I'm just going to select a few polygons and I'm going to use my paint all tool to paint all them change the color to blue in fact we'll go purple <laughs> and I'm going to pick all the others um, that I want obviously you're not going to be doing this to boxes you're going to be doing to things like shields and things like that so there's my uh, thing now I can switch this uh, back off in various different ways so this is the normal one um, and you can bake this in as well so we can bake it into the polygon now what we do when that's baked in is we just export the mesh just gonna overwrite this box and we don't need any other meshes and we don't need uh, to bake it in max so we're going straight into substance we're going to load this in as a new mesh like this okay and this is how easy this is okay so I'm just gonna go straight to bake mesh maps just to ID and make sure it's on vertex color and there we go we've got our ID map okay 